following contest is an Extreme Rules match. And it's for the Middleweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown, weighing in at 220 pounds, there is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. WWE's top star is ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys, ever since it was announced. I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Now inside the ring. Setting up. Suplex. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, he's taking Ouch. on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. This match is so evenly contested nice. right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. No, he reverses it. Back in from the floor. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. He 
he's on his heels. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. And he breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. He's just so dominant. Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. Yeah, but not all mean streaks are created equal, Michael. But I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold. Unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Here he goes. When this guy's on, using all his power to drive him to the mat. Now he's got to capitalize. A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. Here we go, Byron. Oh, man, I got chills right now. Across the shoulders, down, Samoan driver. This might be it, guys. This may very well be it. Yes, takes it. Well, they don't call it extreme rules for nothing, guys. Let's take another look. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Here is your winner and new middleweight champion, Steve. Took it to another level to gain that win. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. The action we see each and every year at Money in the Bank simply never ceases to amaze me.